Welcome to Chapter 9, Draw Filters. In this chapter, you'll learn what draw filters are, when to use them, and how to implement them. This chapter contains three labs, removing the focus rectangle, replacing images, and formatting text. A draw filter is one of the extensibility mechanisms that you gain from the PLF that is used to customize the rendering of an element when an additional presentation requirement is not exposed off of the appearance object. To use a draw filter, you must implement the IUI element draw filter interface. The interface exposes two methods, get phases to filter and draw element, which you must provide the implementation details for. In the get phases to filter method, you are required to return a draw phase. The phase or phases that you return will be the phase of the drawing operation that will be filtered. As you can see, there are many before and after draw phases for elements, themes, back color, images, foreground, child elements, and focus to know the element being drawn and at what phase it is being drawn in so you can make the appropriate changes. If you return true for any before phase, you are basically saying you handled all the drawing for this phase so bypass all the default drawing for the element. If themes are active, all phases up to the before draw child elements will be skipped. If you return true for any after phase, there will be no effect on the drawing of that phase because it has already been drawn. As a rule of thumb, a before phase is most likely the phase that you will want to use to modify the drawing or choose to not draw a particular element. And an after phase is where you would most likely want to add some graphics to a particular element. And this brings us to our labs, removing the focus rectangle, replacing images, and formatting text. Welcome to the PLF Draw Filters, removing the focus rectangle lab for the developing applications with NetAdvantage for Windows Forms Controls training class. In this lab, we'll create a basic draw filter to remove the focus rectangle from an ultra. We'll then right click on the group and select Add Item in the context menu. Right click on the Ultra Explorer bar one more time and select Dock Controls to open the Dock Area dialog window. Then click OK in the dialog window to accept defaults. Next, we need to drag a UI Element Viewer dialog component onto Form 1. If you have done the previous labs, it should be in your toolbox already. If it isn't, the infojoysticks.win.uielementviewer.dll file is in the provided course files. Drag it into a tab in the toolbox to add it. After the UI Element Viewer dialog component is added, create an event handler for the load event of Form 1. Inside the event handler, Use this code to show the UI Element Viewer dialog window at runtime. 